listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. So real quick, uh, I did speak to Bishop uh, Lamar Whitehead right after he was arrested. He did get out, contrary to him getting uh, locked up. He was out a few hours later at 5.30 that evening, okay? So he had gotten picked up uh, that morning. He was out by the end of the day and home uh, with his wife and with his children. I did speak to uh, his lawyer who is currently presiding over the civil case that is now turned into a criminal investigation. So I did happen to see the indictment that came uh, from the New York. I think it was the Southern District of uh, New York or something like that. Don't get me the line on the specifics. But I read it and I kind of did like this. Because here, here's what's going to happen. So we have a... Um, Hold on for a second. Let me let me make sure I get his name right. Okay, so um, a t- uh, prosecutor. Give me one second. The Southern District of New York. Okay, so we have one of the first black uh, prosecutors. Is it the? Su- what is his name? First black. Hold on for a second. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Because I had, I was supposed to do this show at 830 and I left my notes at the house. Okay. So we're going to be Googling some stuff. Y'all sit through them YouTubers that had a whole Google screen up. So I'm Googling here. Y'all just wait right there for a second. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So Damian Williams is the prosecutor that signed off on the indictment. And I was a little I was a little shocked by that because uh, Damian had five days prior announced a huge indictment against uh, indictment against Bankman uh, fried. OK, and so they are one they are one of the largest investment firms pretty much ever. And um, they had uh, they were being indicted for, I think, swindling, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, over $16 billion from investors. So when I saw Bishop uh, Lamar Whitehead's indictment roll out and there was no announcement uh, by the prosecutor, by Damian Williams, OK, the U.S. attorney uh, for the Southern District of New York, um, I, I was a bit I was scratching my head there, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, paperwork is what I do. I, I read paperwork now and I, I read the language in the fine line. And so when I read the, the, the paperwork, it suggested that there was some undercover things going on or they're trying to get some things that was undercover to stick like that five thousand dollar. Uh, a transaction that he's being charged for try after taking 5,000 from a businessman and then trying to get the businessman whose name they're not releasing uh, to give him 500 more thousand towards a real estate investment. And they know this because of some federal informancy and things like that. And so, and then the $90,000 that he allegedly uh, uh, took as an investment in real estate uh, to get, I guess, one of his members a house, and it ended up being her retirement savings or something like that, and she wanted the money back, but the money was already invested um, into the project. But he did give some of the money back, uh, but he couldn't give it all back because some of it was invested. And this was before the lawsuit and all that stuff had, had gotten filed, okay? And so she, in turn, uh, turned around and sued him. And so um, I do know there are some people behind the scenes that have been on the phone with feds, okay, um, trying to get uh, Bishop investigated because people can't pinpoint where he's getting his money from, right? And so um, that's pretty much the gist of this indictment. And so now they've kind of rolled it over to a criminal uh, uh, indictment, but there's no real charges. And so let me give you an example. So when Damian Williams rolled out the Bankman Fried um indictment that's a pretty big deal to say that you're going to 
uh, indict uh, uh, an investment firm that's worth billions of dollars, for allegedly stealing, stealing billions of dollars from white people. And then you have an, a second indictment here that needs no announcement because every single publication uh, has it. So they don't need Damien to get on screen to say that he's indicting somebody for allegedly uh, taking $90,000 of a lady's money, gave back some of the thousands, but didn't give back all of it. And then allegedly tried to swindle some anonymous businessman who in the, in the transcripts kind of looked like an informant and that's what they're using to indict him. However, when they made uh, the indictment public via New York times, um, they decided to put Eric, is it Eric Adams? Is that y'all mayor? Uh, Eric Adams, pal, uh, is indicted for fraud and all this other stuff because, you know, it's politically motivated in terms of trying to get Eric not reelected um, as mayor in the city of New York. But they got to start slandering right now. They got to start libel right now. They got to start defamation right now when it comes to the mayor, okay, who is a black man and who is doing a very good job with New York City because I'm going to be honest, it has been very dirty. But since uh, Eric has been uh, in office, it is the cleanest I've ever seen and it doesn't stink anymore okay and I see them with the graffiti trucks out there trying to clean up the graffiti and so when you when you put him beside someone who has a questionable reputation based off of his own past that he's still fighting now okay um it makes for some great great publications and media and great gossip and then I had to think some more OK, and I told him this. This is what I told him. He didn't even tell me this because he was, you know, he's worried. He has a wife. He has kids. He's worried. He's in, in prison is not where he wants to go back to. And how is it that they've turned a civil suit that hasn't been done yet, that hasn't um, uh, reached the end of it yet into a criminal suit? And it's only one person, maybe two but it's $5,000, which is a total of $95,000. I'm like, when did they start rolling out indictments for $95,000 being swindled? And pe I know social media influencers that have, have taken people for more. Don't make me say no names, okay? Now, I'm like, so when did they start wasting taxpayer dollars to investigate this? And they don't have an investigation. So when they use the press to get this story out instead of Damien bringing his, his – uh, mm, um, I was questioning I, I questioned that he was married to a woman. I got to tell you, um, when he brought, you know, instead of him getting on, on, on screen to announce that we have a $95,000 uh, uh, indictment against a shady pastor, um, he decided to let every other publication and, and blog do it because he's flashy, because he's out of the ordinary. He's not the normal pastor that you would see. And when you have a shady past, it's like the perfect storm. And so they're using that as a way to get other people to come forward so that they can build an investigation and two they can investigate him now for how he's actually getting his money because they didn't have anything and all they had was a civil suit so I told pastor based off of what I read that he just need to be the f quiet I said you need to be the f quiet because one you're already a convicted felon Two, they already have you for fraud, okay, in the past. You have been uh, uh, very uh, vocal about how you make your money. That has been documented, okay? Uh, people are trying to figure out if you're using a church. It definitely don't come from the church, not with that many members. Um, I did see uh, his new location for his church, which is a pretty, pretty nice location. He's going to be rolling that out. But I was just like, I, I was shocked to see that taxpayer dollars are being wasted for $95,000 and they don't have anybody else to come in on this indictment. So which means they are soliciting the public right now so that they can have y'all come forward if in fact you've truly been scammed by the bishop, but no one has came forward thus far. And um, they use it as an excuse to go through phones and things like that. And so if they want to indict you for anything, they can. And guess what? They have access to your entire life, okay? Whether you're being uh, truthful or whether you're not being truthful. So just remember that to anybody that thinks that they want to scam or fraud anybody, just know that this is what they're doing to Bishop right now. They have all of his phones. They have all of his emails. They have all of his computers and things like that. And he's moving around New York City pretty nice. He's excited. He's ready to open up his church which me, makes me think that he's truly learned his lesson, hopefully, hopefully, okay? Truly learned his lesson from being indicted before, okay? And serving the six years that he served, all right? And he's currently still fighting that right now 
um, in the appellate court because he did get out uh, on appeal. So, um, no, for good behavior, not appeal, good behavior. Okay, he was supposed to serve, uh, I think, like 12, 15 years or something like that, but he ended up getting out in six, okay? And so, yeah, this is going to be interesting to watch, okay? I'm a taxpayer, and so and I, I care where my money goes, right? And I know y'all don't care about this corporate stuff, but it has to make sense. And when we're paying you, Damian Williams, when you're getting elected or, or recommended by Joe Biden to bring down criminals— what is the difference between Bankman Fry? How do you compare Bankman Fry to, to Bishop? Bankman Fry took billions of dollars. This is ninety five thousand here. Now, if you really need some cases under your belt, I could I could send you a few social media influencers that'll do well for your campaign and and, and reelection for for next time. Or if y'all truly want Eric Adams out of office, just watch what he do. Just watch what he do, but associating him with someone with a criminal past when mayors are supposed to be of service and a lot of people that they do deal with, okay, even though they're in political seats, um, do have shady past and things like that. A lot of our politicians have shady past. So what are we doing here? So I, this is going to be interesting to watch. And what I told Bishop is they're just waiting on his ass to talk, so he needs to shut the fuck up. They think he's some ignorant ass, okay, who is so flashy that he can't be quiet even if, if you paid him to, okay, when it comes to this. But he's learned his lesson. He ain't out here talking about the case, and he's going to let them try to build their own case. And he freely surrendered all of his computers and everything because he had nothing to hide, okay? And so we're just going to have to see this unfold. Now, if, in fact, they do find something, then guess what? We're going to come back here with another story, and I'm going to drag him, okay? I'm going to drag him, drag him back to jail, okay? All right, moving on.